Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. Um, I fell asleep after food, so uh, it's a new day. So uh, let's let's carry on um, where we left off. I am also sorry that I ended it where I did. I should have ended it before, like last episode. I should have ended it before we like went into this place but I did not save it so I don't think I could of but let's get into it shall we where did you hide Hapanimus get him oh yeah we found our killers why is the music so loud today? Let's turn it down a tiny bit. So tall. Stay down. New enemies approaching. Okay. <laughs> So Alright, mage, get here. This one. Oh, hi. There we go. That's done a lot of damage. Over here. There we go. I Go in there in a minute, thank you very much. Can I go up there? Nope. Music is still so very loud. Let's turn it down to that. We'll turn it back up in a bit. It's very loud here. For some reason. Anything I did pick up? No. Okay. Sorry, you're fine. Fight at last. We're all going to die. First on the butcher's bill. Don't worry, I'm not gonna touch you. Togo on the other hand. Who am I fighting? Oh, is that what we're hearing from the other place? No! There he is! The king wants him alive! Hold on. I'm coming. For both of you. Oh, and there is Joshua there, the I. I see mages. Get there goes the mages. This one. Over here. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> Poor timing on that. I was wondering why they weren't attacking. This one. Who will steal you have the ship? to stop us. I don't think you can. Fighting's happening over there. You can kind of see Phoenix's like tail things flying everywhere. That's the one we just came from, isn't it? I think so. We'll go down there in a minute. We're just looking for loot. Which. There doesn't seem to be, um, which is disappointing. Please, I don't want your fucking stone here. I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't know why you think I would. My leg. I can't feel my leg. I was about to say, are you missing it or something? What the hell are you? I'm a dominant. I think. I don't know what Clive is exactly, but I, I suppose he is a dominant of fire still, isn't he? Come on, get up! Speak now from this. The king can fight his own battles. The sea won't take us yet. That's a bit overkill. You're finished. <laughs> that might have been a bit overkill there. Oh shit. Can I help you repair it? That's not good. <coughs> Jill! You came! Get back! <sighs> Clive, how did you... I'll explain later. Hands! <laughs> can you walk? Out of here I can. <clears throat> And still! Phoenix... Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Uh -oh. Uh, 
Uh oh. We're seeing full Odin. Odin. In honest then. Why is the water staying like that? Can you go on? I think so. But to, to where? Um, hi. You. What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is. But suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Oh crap. Now, it, it is, is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. Torgal, get her to safety, please. Or is Torgal joining the fight? 
We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. Onibus. If only to remind you of your duty. Yeah. Come on, let's charge the next one. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. There we go. Yet as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you lacking. Defend yourself! There we go. I have seen enough. If reason cannot sway you, there are other means of persuasion that might. How cheap. Raise your guard. Let's charge another mega punch, shall we? This one. You will assume the mantle you've been given. Oh crap. I let him do this it. This is the light of hope severed. Ooh. Ouch. You would yield so soon. Never. Clive! Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominants? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his and yet, every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. 
albeit ones unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> uh, is the water coming down on us? Clive! The fire ah. after it binds you to the it, remaining dominance. It. The stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended. But back all the same. It takes a second for the screenshot button to bring up this bloody menu. Which then the moment you wanting to screenshot bloody is not there anymore it's one thing i like about the xbox version that's better than this one it doesn't bring up the menu ash is not far i could freeze a path you're in no fit state probably not but i can try <sighs> <sighs> That's not gonna work out. Don't look back! Don't look back. <gasps> yeah, the water came crashing down. Clive vested. So if I didn't fail to stop his countdown, would I have beaten him then? I haven't. I don't think I've got a save close by. I will have to try, uh, try, like, do it again in my own time. See what happens. Oh, we've got Steel Silk, Bloody Hide, and some Meteorite. Nice. Four people in that ship, though. Ouch. The Shadow Coast. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. 
It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Ooh, that scar. You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you. And yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. Yourself. You, Clive. Yeah. You. Just it. You never once took the time to save yourself. Hmm. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. a bit like Noctis there. Like the older Noctis. From 15. If I had to continue on, having pledged my life to those I love, then I will gladly bear your burdens too. Till my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. Hmm. 
And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Will we ever get to see what that red, like, star is? Because it's been teased ever since the beginning. I didn't see their clothes at all in that part. Where are they keeping it? <gasps> there they are. Oh, I could have screenshotted that then. That was a pretty decent one. from his sleep. Oh, no, back to sleep he goes. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, <clears throat> there is something we must do first. There is indeed. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherjer is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Hmm. The promise. Become one. To the hideaway we go. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. <laughs> I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still. We'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's mm -hmm. hope so. Across the narrow. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. <clears throat> Tuning with Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Ice Age. 
which forcefully knocks back enemies great distances. Ability details are found in the abilities tab in the main menu. Okie dokie. Shiva's iconic feat, Cold Snap, can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward or back to either dodge attacks or close in on an enemy. So that kind of works well with the Phoenix Shift then. I should visit Joshua, assuming Tai will allow it. There is side quests to do. Crap. There's one at the reading table. Even weirder science. Blacksmith blues again? Bloody hell, what is troubling him this time? Go to the reading table. Ooh, new recipes. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of patio dear? Ice brand, ooh. 300, it's five better than what we've got, and we've got a upgraded sword, right? Sure. I'll compare gear. Yes, we've got an upgraded rune blade too. That's no scratches, better. right? Rune belt, that is still worse. Right, reinforce. Nope. Even a fully maxed out rune belt isn't as good as this. Well, health wise, it's better by one health. That's about it. And? Mind then? Oh yeah, we got a new, um, a new wall of memories item, didn't we? Hanged man sign. The emblem of the hanged man. The tavern, the tavern that sits at the heart of Lost Wing. Now in the depths of an Aether flood. It depicts a hooded, bound, and starved man hung by the ankles, perhaps contemplating how he will take his revenge on those who made him this way. Now that Quinton strives to build a new future for the remnants of his Lost Wing family, mayhap the Hanged Man will rise again, but likely under a different name. Hmm. We're getting close to finishing that. Kind of. Captain Doris. Sir, I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. It is n if it is not too much trouble, I would ask you, please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. Okie dokie. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. The stew's awfully thin these days. Oh, what do you expect? Come back. Oh, hi, Yote. Why is she saying come back? I suppose I could just use the, um... I can just use this to you to uh, retry that section, right? Not just not reload a save, just use that. I forgot about that, to be honest. 
covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. Mm. It's a wonder they can still walk. <laughs> Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Was she possibly one of the captors? Not the captors. One of the people that were... I don't know, Rob. Right. No, I want to do that and that. Oh, bloody hell, there's a lot. There's one there. One there. One there. Wait, is that... Oh, that's bot clad. Okay, never mind. One, two, three, four, five, plus a couple in the hideaway. Really? Ah, oh, that's a lot. Dory should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. The world seems to be changing so fast lately I can hardly keep up. But what I do know is that there's more bad news than good. You can tell that just by looking at people's faces. True. It doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh, a thousand Akashic jaws couldn't hurt me. I'm a son of Rosaria, after all. A born survivor. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beast men on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid. But I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay. Okay. She was one of them that kept... That, that woman kept captive, wouldn't she? Because she was a bearer. At one point. Well, still is a bearer. She's got the scar to prove it. Can I fast travel to it? Yeah, that, that is closer. That's what I was trying to get out of my gob. Hmm. 
minute ago, I mean. didn't we? What abilities does she have then? Cold snap. Oh, that's that one. Uh, Ice Age. Not bad. Launches multiple shards of ice that upon striking lighter enemies draws them towards Clive. Can be used in mid-air. Ooh, interesting. Summons a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside it. Not bad. And diamond dust. Summons a winter storm that freezes enemies in place within a radius before dealing massive ice damage and knocking them back. I do want to use Shiva, but I do want to unlock all I can for, uh, for a Bahamut first. I don't want to get rid of SIDS. Then again, I haven't upgraded SIDS in god knows how long. Oh, that's... 1600 there these two are probably a thousand after getting the first one right 1660 2600 it's probably what 3185 did i include that 500 i don't think i don't think i did 3685 Thirty-seven eighty-five. Uh, Thirty-eight twenty-five. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight foot twenty-five. I think I need six thousand eight hundred twenty-five to fully master that. Need another like 2000 for Bahamut. That's a lot of redoing stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I'm close to the end. Well, close ish. Because there is still Odin. I'm assuming Odin is there. for it I need like uh, 3,000 points that's a lot of ability points to get still pretty sure I need like up to like 8,000 for each of them in total and there's One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, technically. So I need a thirty six thousand. My mind's drawing a blank. Eight, sixteen, twenty four, thirty two. No. That's way too low. I don't know. 36 is definitely way too low. Ah, here we go. Good. 
They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. Good luck trying. You're welcome to try. <laughs> <laughs> Another man. Oh, That's it. That may have been a bit hard to kill, but Ogle, kill! Magic Ash. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid! Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. Don't need to be sorry. This woman... My former master once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause. To liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All yes. right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, i better let these bearers know that they're safe. Hmm. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Indeed.
Oh, straight there. Sometime later. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. Hmm. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Oh, good. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Hmm. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks again, Sid. The Curse Breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Hmm. Quest complete. Self-determination. That's one less to do, at least. Right, let's head over to the reward table. Covered in table. nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's Pretty sure. No, I haven't got a reward left. But I should be close, right? How may right? I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts? 1965. Never mind. I need another 150. Best of luck out there, Sid. You know, I haven't saved in a while. Apparently I did. Wait, what? Oh, the second. Uh, I'm so used to the bloody English way of doing it. Day, month, year, not month, day, year. The bloody moronic way of doing it. Day, month, year makes sense. It's bloody stupid. Right, there's two in this place. Cool. 